beyond having written such beloved classics as The Jungle Book, Captain's Courageous, Kim, so many others. Rudyard Kipling had another role you don't really think about today as cheerleader-in-chief for the British Empire. And when that empire was pulled into World War I a century ago, it was only natural that Kipling would want his only son, John, to join the colors. Well, a hundred years ago this week, the stories met reality when young John was killed in his very first action at the Battle of Lopes in northern France. The stories made all the more tragic by the fact that John Kipling was almost legally blind. No service would take him. His famous dad had to call in favors and pull strings in order to get his son into uniform and off to a military career that came, by most accounts, to a very grim end. And despite there being a gravestone, military historians generally agree that John Kipling isn't the one buried here, his body was never positively identified, he simply vanished into history. This event, and his own involvement in it, knocked the stuffing out of Rudyard Kipling, the man who had helped goad his country and his family into the horror of war, became in his later work the mournful voice of a heartbroken and bereft older generation, sadder and wiser about empires and flags, deeply apprehensive about new ones that were coming along.